We just finished drawing our clowns and we are ready to outline with glue. And outlining with glue can be really tricky. So I'm gonna do some practice first to make sure my glue bottle is working. So I am making sure that there's not any dry glue at the tip, peeling that off, and I'm opening it up and I'm listening or looking. I might hear some air or I might see glue come out right away if I squeeze it. So my paper towel is to practice. I want a nice line that's not too skinny and that's not so fat that it's gonna blob everywhere. When I put glue on my paper, it spreads a little bit. That's why it's so important that we check everything on our clown to make sure it's pretty big. If I put my fingers on these eyes, they're about three fingers big and this nose is two of my fingers wide. So these shapes are big. So when I squeeze my glue onto my clown lines, I know it's not gonna fill in and get all smushy with glue. Our goal today is to outline everything we drew with glue. Being so careful that we're not talking to our friends and squeezing our glue bottle and getting big blobs because we won't be able to color those. Our clowns will dry and next time we'll be able to color with our oil crayons. Your glue is going to act like a trap and a fence to help you use the oil crayons and learn how to mix new colors. If you notice, I started at the top of my paper. Sometimes when I glue, I like lean my hand on my paper. And if I start at the top, I'm not going to smush that glue all around. Some of you might want to actually touch the orange tip to the paper. Some of you might want to hold it up a little bit to glue. That's going to be your choice. I'm going to slide this up. I'm almost to the bottom. Important directions today. When you're finished, these projects have to go on a flat surface. Our drying rack right now is not flat. The papers will curl over and glue will drip. So I'm going to carry this with two hands. You can see my two hands in this video. Not just one and let it hang because all that glue is going to drip. Look at that. That dripped already. If you get big globs like that, Raise your hand and I will come around and try to kind of help you um, get those fixed. Your clowns are going to go on the back counter, nice and flat to dry. If that space is filled up, have Mrs. Cleary find you a new spot. These will dry and next week we can color.